Shall the town of Hampton vote to raise and appropriate the sum of 225000 to complete the appraisals of the town utility properties as part of the 2016 townwide reevaluation of property in Hampton, as required by the state constitution and the Department of Revenue Administration under RSA 75-1, RSA 75-4, and RSA 75-8. This shall be a non-lapsing appropriation for RSA 32-7-6 uh, and will not lapse until the townwide reevaluation is completed or by March 31, 2017, whichever is sooner majority vote required. This was recommended by the Budget Committee with a vote of 12-2-0. Is there anyone wishing to speak to this or not? Chair and members of the uh, budget committee, um, I just want to clarify a few things and give the homeowners uh, some more information um, from our meeting on the fifth. Um, at that time, I wanted to I want to clarify some comments I made, or at least one comment. Um, I made a comment that the completion of doing of these utility appraisals would help in equalizing uh, the state education tax, as utilities pay the state directly for the education tax. Um, it, it wouldn't directly affect the setting of the state's tax rate. What it would do is indirectly help offset an inflated state sale, uh, state um, education tax. Um, the state, in their completing uh, utility valuations, they're not predicated on fair market value. Um, which could actually inflate the state education tax, and I believe that it does. Um, if you think, you've got to think about this. If those state utilities are undervalued by 10, 20, 30 percent, or even greater in some instances, and I gave you an example on the fifth of you know some utilities being eight to 10 million below fair market value, that this would actually inflate the state education tax. Um, after this, as, as part of a process the DRA completes is that they meet with each utility. They negotiate how much money the utility is going to pay. That number could even be below the, the values that the DRA sets for utility purposes. Um, so how much more important is the fact that utilities pay the town, county, and school portion as well? So by not valuing these utilities at fair market value, not only would it not only would it not offset the state property tax or the state education tax, it would actually undervalue or underassess them for paying those other portions of the tax, which isn't fair to you, the homeowner, um, so that everyone should be fair and equitably assessed. And if there's a perfect time to do this, it's part of the 2016 revaluation. Um, the Warren article states that there's going to be an eight cent effect by spending $225,000. It is my opinion that it will not be that. In fact, by doing this, it actually would probably offset the entire cost as part of the revaluation, including the appraisal for the Seabrook nuclear power plant. And we've never completed appraisals in Hampton that I know of. We haven't since I've been here, of course, and I know they weren't done by the prior assessor. And I think it's a perfect opportunity to get this done. And to say it's a waste of money and the appraisals would have to be done in another five years is not completely correct. The body of the appraisal, the meat of the appraisal, which deals with gathering information as to company assets, um, is, is really the body of the appraisal. And that's the main part of why we want to do these. It takes months and months to gather this information. Once that information is gathered, we then analyze income and, as income and asset information going forward that only needs to update income and financial figures and any changes to assets based on new additions to their utility uh, company. Um, the adjustment and asset changes are what gets updated and the cost is very minimal once the body of the appraisal is completed. So they can be used over and over, at least the, you know, at least the main body of the appraisal. Um, 
basis of all appraisals must be built on the premise of fair market value. This is, this is per the state constitution and the Department of Revenue Administration. However, as the DRA is assigned with the duty of administrating the statewide property tax under RSA 83F, they do complete appraisals, or I should say value appraisals. They are not appraisals. Um, they use the unit method or net book value approach, um, which, by the way, are not developed based on the requirements of RSA 751. As a courtesy, the DRA offers communities the use of these values as an option, but towns are not required by law to use them. The fact these state utilities have little or no standing when it comes time to defend an appeal, and we have seen our fair share of those in recent years. As an example, and I won't take up a lot of your time, but I want to read two pages from a recent decision, PSNH versus 55 communities in the state. We were not one of them but they lost their case. They based their value opinions on a unit method approach by a private uh, appraisal company, as well as um, using the state utility appraisal as a backup to support their opinion of value. Both the PSNH appraisal and the DRA appraisals, DRA appraisals were found to be unreliable by the BTLA and further ruled that those approaches have little or no basis as to the determination of fair market value. In fact, the BTLA clearly stated that the BTLA appraisals were not credible, credible in developing an opinion of fair market value. So I just want to read two things that were part of this decision, and I will um, leave it at that tonight. Um, the board finds, this is in the board's decision, the board finds there is only one market value opinion in each of the DRA appraisals a number valuing all of the utility property owned by the taxpayer, irrespective of where it is located, irrespective of where it's located. In other words, the portion of the total value assigned to each municipality in these appraisals is simply an arithmetic allocation based on historical costs, not the independent opinion of market value of a professional appraiser or assessor that can meaningful, meaningfully be used to corroborate or rebut the conclusions contained in the Tea Garden appraisal, which was the company PSNH hired. As the municipalities correctly argued, the requirements of RSA 729 are not met and the values allocated to each community are not true indicators of fair market value in any one taxing jurisdiction. And finally, um, the board ruled on the DRA appraisal as well. They state, Mr. Dickman, who is the utility appraiser, testified approximately 30 to 35 municipalities in New Hampshire use the value shown in the DRA appraisals for local ad valorem tax assessing purposes. To briefly summarize the process, once the DRA completes each annual utility appraisal, as it is statutorily charged to do, pursuant to RSA 83F, it provides a copy to the utility and publishes a list of the utility values on its website. As noted above, the DRA does not provide the actual utility appraisal report to any municipality, citing the confidentiality constraints in RSA 21J14. We have never been able to get an appraisal from the DRA without getting permission from the company, and we've never been able to get permission from the company. The board has concerns regarding whether use of a mere allocation calculation in an appraisal without any opportunity to examine, review, or verify the information contained within it, within it is sufficient to satisfy the selectman's obligation under RSA 75-1. The statute obligates the selectman to assess all taxable property at its fair market value. Market value means the property's full and true value as the same would be appraised in payment of a just debt due from a solvent debtor. The selectman shall receive and consider all evidence that may be submitted to them relative to the value of the property the value which cannot be determined by personal examination. The board has written repeat, repeatedly on why the assessing process should be transparent and understandable to the taxpayers in each community. The authority to assess property has been delegated by the legislature to selectmen or assessors. This delegation entrusts this important function to a select few, regardless of whether those elected or appointed officials perform the function or is contracted to the private sector. Those, those who carry out this function should document their analysis so that those who should shoulder the burden, which is the taxpayer, can understand the appraisal. So 
So I would just like to close by saying that it clearly states it's our authority to assess all taxable property. So I would hope that you as citizens of Hampton and other citizens of Hampton um, you know, approve and vote uh, yes on this warrant article. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Tinker. Thank you. Is there anyone else wishing to speak to this warrant article? Yes, I'd like to make a comment about it. it we Silverdick. entered into a, uh, sorry, Norman Silverdick, 70 Tide Mill Road, speaking for the Rational Taxpayers of Hampton. Um, we entered into a payment in lieu of taxes with Seabrook, and, or Next Air, or whatever the name is. And um, it seems to me that there is a portion of the $225,000, I'm not sure exactly how much, which is being used to uh, cover the cost of appraising Seabrook. So, if we have a payment in lieu of taxes, which I believe goes for five years or thereabouts, we don't know the exact date, it seems that that allocation of money for that purpose is meaningless because whatever the appraisal is, you're stuck with the payment that, the agreement that you made. And I think this, this particular warrant article ought to be reviewed again by the budget committee to try and get into the depth of what the specifically what the 225000 is about and how much is being used for uh, Seabrook. If you've done it already and you're satisfied, that's fine. I'm not aware of that, but um, it just it just sits right out there saying, uh, why spend money? Thank you, Mr. Silver. Jim Ward on 190 uh, Kings Highway, Hampton. I just want to say that, uh, just reiterate what Ed said. Ed sort of talks in uh, assessors language maybe they don't get it the point about this reevaluation is just fair and equitable taxation it would seem to me that the rational taxpayers would want everybody taxed at the same level and it's just simply saying to utilities we're going to uh, uh, appraise you at fair market value which they are not at this time and it needs to be the same as you're paying on your household taxes as the utilities are paying and you need to appraise them, you need to get it done, and I think Ed gave a good uh, explanation of that. So just fair and equitable taxes across the board. Okay. All right, seeing no one else, <coughs> excuse me, to speak to this warrant, we'll move on 